Hey guys, so today we're going to be draft grafting apple, cherry, and peach trees. Alright, let's get into things. Hey guys, um, it's been a while since we've done a video. You know, I've done a lot of conferences and a lot of pasture walks and different things. And um, a lot of you, the subscribers, have attended those and has expressed um, how well you like the YouTube channel. So we're going to try and get back into it here. Uh, the problem we had before is time editing and uh, just getting them posted. Time has been a major time crunch here. So but we're going to try and get back into it. Um, Emmy's going to learn how to edit the videos and get them posted up on YouTube. So that's going to help us out a lot or help me out a lot so we can get more content to you. Today we're going to start off with grafting. I posted a couple uh, videos on Facebook and you guys have stressed the, the interest in grafting and a lot of folks stay away from grafting. They think it's uh, extremely hard, but grafting is not hard at all. Um, it's just some, some uh, basic principles that we follow when we're grafting. So we're going to get into that here and, and I'm going to teach you how to, to graft, do a whip graft, possibly do a cleft graft. And that's pretty much all you need to do with bare root apple or cherry or peach seedlings. Um, this here is the seedlings that we're using. Uh, and they don't have to be expensive either. These here we paid $1.57 for them um, from Trico. Um, I'm not uh, endorsed by them in any way. Uh, we got these for $1.47 a piece. And then we collected a lot of our cyan wood from neighbors. Um, this here particular cyan wood is from our Wolf River apple tree. And the reason we're grafting two apples or grafting fruit trees is we want a good strong root and we want a variety that is actually beneficial to us or to the livestock or deer for that matter. There's guys that are grafting trees that they're specifically for food plots and they're known for high yields and yielding at a certain time of the year so you have apples available and it lures them to your to your fields whenever you're hunting but um basically to graft we're just joining two pieces of wood together um i use a single bevel grafting knife you can use a utility knife as long as you're using a new blade, that will work. Um, in our case, we're doing 230? I think something like that. Yeah, you know, like 230 trees. So um, we want to, I use a grafting knife just because it makes it easier. The grafting knife, I think this knife here was like 38 bucks or something like that. You can get it online. It's made in Germany. It's made out of carbon steel. Carbon steel will take an edge better and hold an edge better than a stainless steel blade so keep that in mind you can see here you know it's sharp it's surgical sharp um, and we can do a video on sharpening knives too but um, before we get started here let's go out and look at some of the trees that we had grafted before we're working in my office here today because it's a nice comfortable spot. Let's turn the lights on so everybody can see here. These are all grafted apple trees that we have. Um, these here are actually the pieces that we've cut off the apple trees. We're going to take them out and we're going to plant them. They should re-root and we'll have baby more baby apple trees that we can graft, dig out and graft later. These here are all trees that we're putting into our silver pasture. <coughs> But these are trees that we've grafted. Oh, I don't know how long ago did we do these, Em? Uh, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. You can see them breaking bud here. Some of them. There's one down there. There's some buds here, too. There's some buds breaking here. 
you can see that they're starting to grow. Now we paint, paint these with graft and wax. This here's a cleft graft. Um, and this here's a whip graft. And we're gonna go over that here in, in just a little bit. So let's take a walk over. Emmy and I had actually planted some, or stuck some of the tops that we cut off in the ground. to see if we could get them to root. And so far they're rooting pretty well. They're right here. See here, the, they're starting to root. Here's one here, 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 here. So we're gonna take and we're gonna make this into an apple tree bed. So, okay, let's go in there and, and do a cleft graft and a whip graft. Um, you can buy cyan wood if you want. Um, it's usually like five dollars a stick it's a little bit expensive but there is a lot of different trees that are available you can probably get i think there's well over two thousand different varieties of apple trees um these here are the peach trees that we're going to be doing and the cherry trees we're going to be doing them later this morning but let's go ahead and do a couple whip grafts and a couple cleft grafts and you know don't let this scare you everybody thinks it's it's hard but it really isn't i guess it's one of the best kept secrets yeah so I'm gonna get my and my um, here's our our bare root apple root graft um, you need to get that open high up yeah. there we go let me mix this up first <laughs> now we seal them up a lot of folks don't seal them but i just want to we're going to go through the work of grafting we're going to dot our i's and cross our t's we're using a product called doc farewell's um tree seal i believe is what it's called yeah, I can get that off for you. Thank you. There we go. What's that? <laughs> okay. Now, for a whip graft, what we're trying to do is we, we're going to cut this whole top off. And then we got to find a piece of cyan wood that matches about the diameter of the, the spot that we're going to graft. So we'll do is we cut this on an angle without cutting yourself without cutting yourself or trying to and then we come down about a third you need to be very very careful because this knife is scary sharp so you can see that I'm bracing myself and I did nick myself here the other day right there I got a couple little cuts here so you need to be careful but we put a little cut there and this here has, we only want to put two to three buds on top because the tree, um, whenever this bare root pushes out, if you have like six or eight buds, it can't get it pushed out and there's less chance of the graft working. So let's go ahead and cut this. Sometimes I have to make a double cut to match that that won't match. There we go pretty close. So come down a third, slice that in, and then what we'll do is we take these tongues, slide them together like that. <clears throat> and the big secret here to this is, is to get these cambium layers sealed up or, or touching one another so they can heal and they match pretty well there so we're gonna go ahead i use parafilm grafting tape i bought a whole thing of this because it's been oh 35 years since i've grafted anything so i couldn't remember how much it took so i have like i bought 12 rolls of it and 
I'm just going to use probably one and a part of a roll. I just take and break a piece of this off. And then we seal this up with this grafting tape, pull it down as tight as we can. You make about two or three layers. If you get over top of bud, that's okay. Buds can break through this grafting tape. And there's four layers. Just break it off like that. And now it's Emmy's job to explain to you what she's doing and why she's doing it. I get a towel down so you don't paint the desk under it if you spill a little bit. Here, won't we'll use this towel. It's a little better for you. It's the one you used before. Yeah, I'll use this towel here. So, I use a paintbrush about, I don't know, say about an inch thick. It, you don't want any wider than that or it'll be hard to paint on here and you'll wait uh Waste a little bit of the paint. And the paint's expensive. It's like $70 a gallon. Yeah. Uh, I dip it in and get it like all over the tip of that. And then I go a little bit below the tape so it seals a lot better than if you just go from the tape. And we do this so it'll seal up and uh, it'll seal it and it won't get as... Dry. Dry, yeah. Yeah, you want to keep that, that cyan from drying out. Yeah. And I just, you can never have too much paint on this. Uh, just want to paint it up really, really good. And get that all over. And that's Doc Farewell's grafting seal. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to forget the tip. Because that also has a lot of moisture in there and you don't want it to dry out either. Uh, now that you have it painted, we're going to set it in a bucket of water down here. Uh, we have a bucket of water about half full if you use bat gallon buckets. We just set it in there so the roots will be touching. And then... We don't want them roots to dry out. Yeah. And then I make a tag for them. Yep, you want to show them how you make a tag, Em? Yep. So these are the Wolf Rivers. So we're using M111 bases. Uh, it has a stronger root system on it, so it'll help it grow a lot better. And they're semi-dwarfing. Yeah. So I'm just going to write M111 on the top of that tag there. And uh, then I'll put the kind down below it. Whatever kind we're using, we're using Wolf Rivers this morning. Like that there. And then we wait for that to dry. And whatever, whenever we uh, go to put it in the sawdust, we'll just uh, fold it up there. Get it through these. Put it around one of the, the stems. We'll put a rubber band. We'll bunch them and put a rubber band around them. As soon as they dry. And then we'll put the tag on there. And then we take them out here. And keep them in a cool, dry place. But we cover the root systems up with sawdust, wet sawdust. And this helps let the, the grass dry, or the grass start healing and start budding out. So, um, we have, I don't know, I think we have like 30 different varieties of apples that we're doing this year. So let's go ahead and do a cleft graft. Let's do a cleft graft and then we're going to do another whip and another cleft just so you can see it done. Okay. So you want to use a cleft graft whenever your sign wood doesn't match. See how I'm keeping that down in 
the bottom six inches. You'll use a cleft graft whenever your cyan doesn't match. We're going to use this cyan here. And I like using these cyans with the tip butt on them. So what we'll do is I cut that off. And then again, be very, very careful. You can cut yourself easily. But I'll split this down about oh, an inch, inch and a quarter, something like that. I got that split down. Now what I want to do is cut a wedge on this. Okay, see, see I have a wedge on that. We're going to stick that down in there. Maybe. There it goes. I don't want it that way. We want it this way. Push it down in there like that. And we have our, our cambium layers lined up. That's, that's the key to this whole thing is getting your cambium layers lined up. Okay. Now we'll take it and we'll Put our grafting tape on there. And the grafting tape will come off itself in the sun. It breaks down in the sun, so you don't have to go back through and remove the grafting tape later on. You want to make sure this joint here is really sealed up well. Again, we want to go three or four layers. I use a little extra. Okay, just like that, and then Emmy, she's going to paint it. Yep. It's the same one as we do the other ones, except when you do the cleft graph, you have this piece here that you have to be very, very careful and make sure that it's all sealed in so no moisture escapes. We're going to do another cleft graft here, just so you can see that again. Here's another tip. I like I really like using these tips with the bud on. So we're going to use that and this. Split it again. Down about an inch, inch and a quarter. And put a nice long taper on it. Like that. Cut it up a little bit further. And whenever you paint these cleft graphs, it'll take a little longer to dry that joint there because it's got a like a shelf almost look. To yeah, it. you got a little thicker. Okay, we got our wedge cut and we got our tree cut down. Just gonna shove this in line those signs up <coughs> and this is an inexpensive way to get a whole bunch of fruit trees on your farm because if you go to buy already grafted fruit trees and work they're going to cost you a minimum of twenty dollars so are we going to have some failures on this yeah um so far it's looking pretty good but um, even if we lose forty percent we're still money ahead because root stocks are cheap. We bought regrades, which give you 20% off the original price. Because there's a little bend in them or the roots aren't quite as big. Or there was something that don't they don't make number ones, but they'll still grow as number twos. So we'll seal that down good.
just like that. That's a cleft, another cleft graft. Can go in. <coughs> Let's do do a whip graft. And bench grafting is a lot easier than planting the tree and then trying to come back through and put a graft on it. Um, you can do a lot more trees in a little, lot more t quicker time. This one here looks like it matches pretty good. Fairly decent. So let's go ahead and cut that. I want a nice long, long slope on it. That's too much. Something like that. Come down a third, split it, down maybe a little bit. I'm going to actually go with this one because it looks a little better, a little bit closer to size. Pretty close there. Come down a third. Split that down. That makes that makes your tongue. Put the two together. Line your cambium layers up. Now, if your your cyan isn't quite exact, just make sure you line up one side. And get it in there nice and tight. There we have a piece of wax. Now see how that sticks out? The, the tape's going to pull them down so they're touching. Don't worry about that so much. You want that tape just about as tight as you can get it without breaking it. And again, don't let this craft and stuff scare you. I mean, if you know the basic principles, lining the cambium layers up. And actually, I'm going to show you another graft. I don't know what the name of it is. But it works too. Actually, we're going to show them two more graphs. I'm going to show you guys the one that I learned 35 years ago from an old timer. Got two graphs here. They're clippers, or two buds. There's two buds, not two graphs. Cut that off. Give it to Emmy. Emmy does her thing. I, now, um, go ahead, Em. I pretty much paint all these the same. Some of them might be a little lower, more low than the tape. It doesn't really matter as long as you have a really nice seal on it. Uh, I paint over the buds really, really well so that they stay moisture. As you saw out there, the buds were breaking through the graphing paint, and that's what we want. Okay, here's another graft. I have no idea what it's called, but I'm going to show you it's that simple. Okay, we're just going to take and cut a little spot off. Okay. We have a little piece of cyan wood here. It's got two buds on it. Cut a little bit off. I need to take a little bit off here yet. So they match up. Basically, see how the cambium layers line up? Break me off a piece of tape. And I'm grab it. Pull that piece off the end. Uh, 
basically we're just lining them cambium layers up and putting the pieces right side by side. It's, it's that simple, guys. There's two buds on this. I'm going to put a little extra tape on it because there's nothing holding that together other than the tape. You know, it's kind of fun to experiment with this other stuff. There you go. I mean, it's it's that simple. We're going to cut this off about three-eighths to a half an inch above the bud. But that's all there is to that one. I don't know what the name of that is. Now, the next one, it's just a simple whip graft. It's the one that I learned 35 years ago or so. Piece of cyan wood that's about the same size. And one bud there. So about there. Do it like you're cut your, like you're doing a whip and tongue. But this here is just a whip graft, okay? I don't like that one so much, so we're going to make another cut, okay? And then... You can see I'm not perfect all the time. So this is just a simple whip graft. This is the graft that I learned from an old timer. Just line those two pieces up. And what he taught us to use to join these together with was clear medical tape. He didn't even have grafting tape and he literally had hundreds and hundreds of apples in his apple orchard. And again, we're going to put a little extra tape because there's no tongue in there holding that together. Apologize for the rough voice. We, we got over a cold about a month ago. It kind of blew my voice out, so... Now that's just a standard old whip graft. And it's fun to experiment with this, different types of grafts to see what you can get away with and what you can't. So, <clears throat> okay guys, that's it for today. Okay guys, if you would, please subscribe, like, comment. That's what helps the channel out. Um, so if you want to keep getting con great content like this, uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. Yep. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, also, we might have chicks coming, and we will probably video that for you guys in about a week, I think. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.